This week we'll be going over all of the TV collectibles in Alan Wake for the Couch Potato Achievement. There are 14 of these in the game, so we're gonna go through it, chapter by chapter, showing you where all of these are at. And I'll have my playlist with the rest of my Alan Wake guides linked down in the description and at the end of the video. Plus, of course, we do make written versions of all of our guides, so if that's more your thing, go check those out. And now, let's get to hunting. After a while, you'll be going down lumber mill areas. TV1 will be as you're coming up to the third one, and you'll need to go into the small building to get the gate open. In there, you'll find this TV by the button. TV2 will be right at the end of the episode as you're getting into the gas station. You'll walk in the back, and as you walk past the TV, it'll turn on automatically. Use the option to focus on it to get this one. TV3 you'll be able to get after you head out the back of the police station to talk to the kidnapper. As you're going back inside the station, the TV will turn back on, which gets you this collectible. A bit later on, you'll head to the Elderwood National Park and can get TV4. You'll start going past a couple of cabins on your right and you'll want to go into the second cabin. There, you'll find this TV sitting inside. TV5 will be even later on. You'll get past a chainsaw man fight and then you have to grab keys from the men's bathroom to proceed further. While you're on your way out, this next TV will activate. TV6 will be at the beginning of the episode as you're going into Rose's trailer. You'll go through a cutscene there and then the TV will activate on its own. A while later you'll be able to get TV7 after you go into a train depot. You'll go upstairs and the TV will just be sitting on a table for you to activate. Then, even later into the episode, you're gonna fight a possessed train and then have to open up a door with a key. As you go into that locked building, TV8 will turn on automatically. TV9 is going to be a few minutes into this next episode. As you're running back upstairs to go to your room, it'll play automatically. TV10 is a while later when you're heading out to Anderson Farm. You'll go through a trail with bear traps and then eventually reach a cabin. Inside of there, you can go upstairs and into the right room for a piece of the story to play out. Then, just go into the other room upstairs for this TV to automatically start. After the battle on stage, you can go get TV11. You'll end up going up to a barn with the entrance blocked and your cardboard cutout out front. Once you get inside of there, this TV will be on the right side just a bit back from where you entered. TV 12 is going to be after you defend Sarah while she's unlocking the door to a large building. Go up to the second floor and this TV will just be sitting there. Much later into the episode, you're going to be able to get TV 13 after you go across a large bridge. There's a control room on the other side, where you'll go inside and get this TV. The last TV, TV 14, will be in the last episode. You'll be in your apartment having a sort of flashback and go through things normally. Once you go up to the TV to watch it, that's going to count as this last one and get you the Couch Potato Achievement. And that's going to be all of the TV collectibles in Alan Wake. If you find our guides helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out this playlist for the rest of our Alan Wake guides.